Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, it's uh, going to be a concerning uh, questionnaire or question that I got from one of my subscribers. And really what it comes down to is everybody who has been getting scammed or has gotten scammed recently or is going to be scammed in the future, I need to answer this question. And really it just comes down to is what would you do if you got scammed out of everything? Well, I can't tell you, you know, what you should do, but I can just tell you what I would do in these situations. So uh, let me break into this real quick. This was a, it was a uh, message came to me from a subscriber uh, via email. He says, hey, Dan, thanks for your videos. Very interesting. I'm Simon, and I'm telling you what I dare not tell my wife. First of all, this is already starting bad. I'll just tell you that. Uh, he goes on to say, I'm in the UK, and I've sent out asking people, and they all ignore me. I just had the feeling you might waste one minute of your time answering yes or no, as it may affect my family's future. I had, and this is the key word here, I had 1.5 Bitcoin, which I bought in 2017 for $1,500. I was told best to hold till 2021 when they started crashing late 2018, which was fantastic. And this is the thing that I've always talked about. It's not about how much you make, it's how much you keep. So uh, Simon here did the exact right thing, right? He got in 2017, he held on to it the whole way, all the way to, to right now. So uh, good for you, Simon. And, uh, but, but there was a uh, travesty afoot, and this is what happened. Anyways, after listening to a video you had a couple of weeks ago where you mentioned Voyager, I looked in my old Trezor and found 1,400 of them. It's pretty good. But for some reason, I couldn't get them from the my Ether wallet on my Tracer to an exchange. I went on Telegram. First mistake right there. I'm just going to tell everybody about Telegram. Uh, it is the biggest cesspool I've ever seen. Uh, it is worse than YouTube. I know people are like, oh, you know, it's, it's awesome. You go, is it? No, it's not. So it's just there's just so many things out there that are just a huge amount of scams. I think people are used to the YouTube scams, uh, thanks in part to this channel, other people who have actually pitched in. But Telegram is a whole different animal. And it's why it's one of the reasons why I don't use Telegram. I don't have myself on Telegram. I just will not use it because I think it's a cesspool. So and again, in the comments, you can say whatever you want to. And you say, no, it's great. And people, sure. All right. So uh, I went on Telegram and asked for help and advice. A chap came on. <laughs> no, he's from the UK. They're saying he was the real Max Kaiser. Real Max Kaiser. And he could help me. Anyways, I'm sure you know the rest. Uh, I really didn't understand things. He sent me to a website. And I put in my 24 words. And voila, my family's savings disappeared. On my tracer, it shows exactly the address and where they went. Is there anything I can do? Please spare me the time to say no. Then I'll put it all behind me. But you'll be the first to answer me. I'm not looking for financial offerings. Just fine, just finality uh, with hope that you say yes. I may be able to get them back. I'm devastated and hate lying to my wife. Thank you. So here's what I'm going to, I actually wrote him back. You know, said Simon, no. That's it. That was the thing. No, you can't get it back. Uh, when you give somebody else your passphrases, your private keys and everything else, that's gone. It's gone. You will never see it again. And uh, I don't care to what authorities you report it to. I mean, they'll, they'll make a note of it. That's great. But who gives? Who cares? You lost all your money. So I'm just going to tell you like this. It's what I say on this channel time and time again. Uh, it doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter how you know, well-versed you think. You can always get scammed. So treat everything like it's a scam, and your life will be a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot better. And I will just also th say this. I get emails weekly where people have gotten scammed. They said, Rob, I even listened to your show. And I hear you in the back of my head saying, don't do this, but I still do this. There is some kind of reptilian part in your brain where it's like, you know what? I got to make a bunch of money. And that's not the case. You just got to be an investor. And I'm going to show you, this is well, what I told someone. I go, look, this is what's going on. Uh, you know, you're screwed. You're screwed out of your money. Uh, but this is, and I told him, I'm going to answer your question in detail tomorrow about how I would get it all back if I had to start from scratch right now. So this is what I got. First of all, let's do a quick review. We've all seen this on, on the channel. If you're new, welcome. This might be new to you, so we should just talk about this in under uh, two minutes. First of all, everything goes in four-year cycles with cryptocurrency digital assets. It is not the traditional stock market. Traditional stock market it is a lot different. Everything goes in four-year cycle because of the halving, which uh, is Bitcoin. Every four years, uh, everything gets cut in half as far as the supply of what the miners can actually push out or get mined. So Every time that there is a halving, the first one happened in 2012 because Bitcoin was created around 20, 2009. 2012, we had a halving. And this is what the price was. 
The next year you'll have an all-time high, which is in 2013, the first one. Then you'll have a massive dip, which is in 2014. Then you'll have a reset. Same thing happened in 2016, having 2017, big all-time high. Then you had a massive dip as in 2018, and you had a reset in 2019. Now we're going to go into 2020. We just had a halving in May 2020. We're getting to an all-time high. And you see what this looks like? This is what the graph looks like right now as we look at it because it's this says 29,000 because I made this around January 7th, January 6th, somewhere around there. Uh, but in reality, this is how we should look at it. This is what's going on because it's just like every other halving year. This 2021, this is our all-time high, and this is where we're going to see massive gains. So the best time to invest, oh, excuse me, the best time to invest put this in a little different place. The best time to invest is during the halving or right after the dip and a reset, when everything's boring and it's moving sideways, okay? Here's the thing though, uh, this is the second best time. The second best time is during a halving. So what am I talking about? Or right after halving in the all-time high. So this is what we got. With this, I put out a price prediction. And this price prediction was all my different holdings that I had and what I believe it to be. And we took, and there's one in, in particular, Voyager, we took a look at Metcalf's Law, and we really broke it down. We took a look at fractals for, for Bitcoin, Ethereum. It doesn't matter. This is just what I personally believe. Your uh, opinion may vary. That's okay. These are the most conservative numbers that I can possibly get. Some people will say that Bitcoin's going to go to, to a million. Some people say 400,000. Some people say Ethereum's going to go to, uh, I don't even know anymore. Tyler Winklevoss said it's going to go to 75,000. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a genius. So I'm, and I certainly am not Nostradamus. But these were my predictions on January 7th. This is what the prices were. You can go and watch that video right now. Here is the uh, my prediction plus the supply. So I started with Chainlink. I said with Chainlink, you got about, it's going to be $35 by the end of 2021, somewhere around there. And it's got a billion circulating or max supply. Cardano, it says me $3, Theta $10, and the supply, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then I gave you the probability. And this was all based on the information that we have as far as like who was buying it up, uh, you know, what kind of supply they have, what kind of issues they're having, what kind of team they've built, and everything else. So I give you a probability where, uh, on a scale of zero, where it's not a chance in hell it's going to happen, uh, all the way to 10, which means I definitely uh, would say it is definitely going to happen. So with Bitcoin, 150K, sure. I think that's pretty conservative. Uh, Ethereum, I gave it an eight. I talked about the problems that they're having right now with moving from ETH 1.0 to 2.0 and staking and all the fees, which are absolutely ridiculous right now. Chainlink, I talked about because it's one of the few oracles out there and everybody's, a lot of people are using it. Not everybody's using it, but I mean, you're looking at 90% of the people are using it. And I'm down the line. And then what I added in today was a thing called gain. This is how much it would increase from uh, the price point from roughly uh, my prediction at that point to what it could go to. So if you take 40 times four, it's about 160K. So it's about a 4X gain, right? 38K, around 40K, 150K, sure. Ethereum could be about a 10X because I think it's gonna go to 10K. I think it could go between five and 10K. Um, I do have some reservations about Ethereum these days. I don't know if it can really do it. Um, look, to go to ETH 2.0, it's going to take uh, at least a year to get everything going. And right now, uh, there's a lot of problems with it. And uh, you, if you're using, I just did a, a, a poll and I asked people, how much have the fees affected you from using decentralized exchanges like one inch? like Uniswap and all those different places. And the vast majority, 75% plus, are saying, I don't use that anymore because the fees are too much. Some people are like, I don't really care because the fees don't make so much money. I'm like, sure, but you're getting crushed in fees. And uh, if you are a big uh, complainer of Coinbase, how can you complain about Coinbase and their fees but not complain about this other thing? It doesn't make any sense to me. So these are just gains. And we just take a look at what it is. Now, the big one for me, is Voyager. And we took a real deep dive. You can take a look at that. I'll link at the end. Again, we took a look at uh, the network effect, Metcalf's Law, uh, different press releases that, that have been going on. Talk to the CEO. Uh, this is, I think, the big play. And if you're looking for a uh, utility token of what it can actually do, look no farther than Binance and what happened with that. It wasn't much when it came out. And all of a sudden, it's around, I don't know, $45 right now. So uh, the Voyager token, at when I made this price prediction, was at 29 cents. Right now, it's at $1.17, about 10 days later. So we're on our way. That's all I can tell you. And that's what I'm looking at. So Simon, let's break it down with Simon. 
So Simon, he lost because he spent $1,500 in Bitcoin. And that was one and a half Bitcoin in 2017. So he must have got it very early and he got 1.5. So good job, Simon. And then for somehow he got Voyager at $1,400 or he had 1,400 of Voyager. And I don't know when he bought them. I have no idea, but he said it's old. So it might not have been $1,400 because right now it's about a dollar for one Voyager. So I just say, yeah, okay, for a dollar. So 1,500 plus 1,400, it's about 3K. All right, 2,900, whatever. I like round numbers. Math is hard. So that's what it was. Now, that's what it was that he actually spent. But in reality, his today's value is 60K. So I'm going to talk about risk versus reward. And really what it comes down to is this. If I want the biggest bang for my buck, I want to minimize risk as much as possible. You can go out there and find those small cap gems. And you can put whatever you want into those types of things. But they might do nothing. They might go up a thousandfold. I have no idea. I am not that guy. If you want to look for somebody who's going to give you a bunch of small, low cap gems, there is a plethora of YouTubers out there. And go on Telegram. They got a ton of different projects you can listen to. And, uh, you know, sure. So that's not me. Uh, I'm just going to give you what I think. So if I had to look at everything, I would just look and say, you know what? I think I'm going to take a look at the probabilities. And I'm just going to go for the tens and the nines. And I'm just going to tell you right now, there is, Bitcoin is going to be uh, enormous. Uh, I was just talking to uh, somebody who deals with uh, institutional players, and he has been getting uh, requests for information from small businesses. Not big businesses like MicroStrategy, not big businesses like Galaxy Digital and all these different publicly traded companies. Small businesses. We're talking about, and I'm not even going to tell you uh, what they do. I can just tell you that they, uh, they make a modest amount. They have around a, you know, 100K to 500K to sling around, not a ton of dough. But uh, they are the ones that are saying, hey, we got your information. We would like to invest into Bitcoin. We would need assistance. We are only looking for Bitcoin. That is all we want to do. We are not going to trade. We need to put our capital uh, into something that will appreciate and we're looking at Bitcoin and uh, he has gotten two requests from very small businesses So I'm like if this is just one instance that I know of how much is really going on out there. So As far as probability uh, you can't go wrong with Bitcoin. The problem with Bitcoin is it's not going to go up a ton You're only looking at a 4x conservative So okay, so I would look at uh, the probability for Bitcoin and the only other 10 that I have is theta and the reason why I said Where is it? Yeah the reason why I said Theta, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with Theta, first of all, shout out to Digital Dave at Crazy for Cryptos for turning me on to it. You have to understand that uh, Theta is not competing with uh, YouTube. What it is doing is it is, is allowing unused bandwidth to be used for streaming services. And that is only accelerated thanks in part due to coronavirus. So how many of you are now working from home? How many of you are doing Zoom meetings? How many times have you seen it when sports wasn't even available? And what did you see on ESPN? You saw eSports, you saw people playing games. And that is a massive industry. So when I think about what has real world use potential right now, I see Theta, I'm like, this is so undervalued. This is so undervalued. So I gave it a 10 I, as, as time moves on. And even Facebook has come out and said, look, um, people are, you don't have to come back. You can." You can go anywhere you want to and work and we'll still pay you. So guess what people are doing? Leaving California because they can work from anywhere. And guess what they're going to need when they have to work anywhere? They need bandwidth. And that's where I think Theta might come in. Anyhow, just a theory. So I got two tens. And what else have we got here? And I got two nines. And the nines that I have are Chainlink and Voyager. We talked about why that is. So right here it says 100x. But now it's like a dollar, so it's really only really only 30x. So sorry if you didn't get into that. So for Simon to make him back his three thousand um, dollars, again I can't give you financial advice. But what I would do if I needed to make three thousand by the end of this year, that's pretty simple. Um, I will just say before I give you this, um, people give up too fast in, in the world. They they have a failure and it sets them back, and they just say, well, it didn't work out for me, and they and they go, and something's right with me or wrong with me, whatever you want to say it. But uh, I've always told my wife the same thing. I'm not in the business of losing money. And I'm not here to, to lose anything. I'm here to keep fighting and keep going until I uh, figure it out or, you know, uh, I make it. So uh, right here, uh, if, if it was me, there's I, I wouldn't have stopped. First of all, 
uh, I told Simon, definitely tell your wife. Don't lie to your wife. Tell her right now what happened because it's only going to get worse. So what I would have said is I would have said, hey, uh, I just lost 3000 bucks, but don't worry. I'm going to get it back because we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And uh, that's it. And then she was like, well, makes, that's what you do. So right now, if you're looking at this, Simon, if you're watching, again, I can't give you financial advice, but uh, it's all about perseverance and uh, not really giving up. So this is the time, like I just talked about. If you want to give up, that's fine. You know, you can go away. I could go away and stop it. But I'm telling you, um, as time goes on in, the, in, in life, you will only regret the things you did not do and you will not regret the things that you did usually that's how it goes as far as like if you listen to any of those different stories from the elderly uh, they have always said the same thing uh, i only have regrets on the things that i didn't do not the things that i did so uh, i would not i couldn't I just, I just couldn't let it over my head so i would just uh, i would invest in bitcoin and theta chain link and Voyager. And the question would be, well, how much would you do? Well, if you, I just dollar cost average and you got two, you got, you got three options. But if you, if I just got burned like that, I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to take a big lump because maybe all my, all my money's gone. All my money's gone. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to start again. Dollar cost average. I'm going to put $25. I'm going to do that. Uh, even I just did this per week. So $25 per week, that's a hundred bucks per month in 11 months. Uh, we're looking at $1,100, right? So just, just that alone. So if I do $1,100 and I put it in uh, between Bitcoin, Theta, Chainlink, and Voyager, Voyager's got a 30X, you got a 10X here, 10X here, 4X here. So $1,100, let's just do like a conservative type of thing. You're looking at around, eh, let's just say like, like an 8X. You're looking at $10,000, $10,000 of $1,100, not too bad. You can tell your wife, hey, look, I lost three, but we gained 11, and I think things are going to, are going to go up, and you just uh, exit strategy out. That's one option, right? A little bit more difficult is this. Let's say I need to get that 60K back. Well, again, what I would do, and actually, I will just say this. Uh, these eights right here, if I was really cautious, I wouldn't even do uh, anything with the eights. I would just stick with Bitcoin, Theta, Chainlink, and Voyager, because that's what I feel has the most probability. Again, risk first reward. Now, if I want to get a little bit uh, dangerous, I would just do this. I'd be like, look, um, I need to put more money in because I lost so much. I learned my lesson, but I know where this market is going. I see the four-year cycles. I see the probabilities. I see the uh, gains that, that could be had. I, what I would do, honestly, I would, <laughs> this is just me because I am who I am. Um, I could still dollar cost average every day and just find those dips. But I like this new strategy that uh, me and Diddy talked about. Uh, there's, a, there's a video over there on uh, danteacherscrypto.com. It's right there. It's his video. It's his website. It's 100% free. And uh, he said, just take your lump sum of whatever you have, if you still have any money, and just dump it in and just do it uh, one every two weeks. So let's say that, again, if I had 12000 bucks, somehow I find it, right? I sell my kidney. Uh, what I would do is i put $2,000 down today. And I would spread it around, around all these different tokens, however you want to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eesh, almost. So I'd probably let like a hundred bucks in each. And then in two more weeks, a hundred bucks in each. Two more weeks, hundred bucks in each. Until I get, get the six weeks and I have $12,000 in. If I had $12,000 in, and let's just say that they 10X conservatively, conservatively, right? Uh, I had $12,000 in, that's 120,000. Then I go to my wife and go, see, I'm not in the business of losing money. Uh, we lost 60, but we went to 120. And that would be it. The, the thing is this, don't dump it all in in one whole shot because we're going to see peaks and valleys and, and dips and everything else. And that's just, that's just how it is. And if you take a look at charts, you'll see in 2017, you'd have like a 20% drop. It's like a stair step. It goes up 20%, up 20%, 100%. And then, uh, so just be careful with that. But I think this is definitely be able to do. Now, my next question is this. Simon lives in the UK. If I live in the UK, I'm in the exact same position that Simon is. Well, I can get I can get Bitcoin, Theta, Voyager, and Chainlink. Well, where the heck do I get that? Well, first of all, this is going to answer some questions for a lot of people because I keep getting this. If I'm in the UK, I can use Binance. If I can use Binance, I can get Voyager. What is Voyager called over there? It's not VGX, it's BQX. And that is the ticker BQX for Bitcoin, $1.18. And then somewhere on right here, it should say Voyager. But that is what it is. Trust me. That's what uh, we got. So 
for whatever reason, BQX is Voyager. Great. Now here's the next thing. What about Theta? Where can I get Theta? Well, again, I can also get that on Buen uh, Buenance, Binance. So not too bad. But here's another thing. Let's say I am who I am and I am still in the States. So I'm stuck and I can't use Binance. What do I do? Well, if I want to find Voyager, I go to Uniswap. Again, the fees suck. Hopefully they go down, but that is your only option if you are in the United States and you're trying to get uh, uh, Voyager. So excuse me. If you want to get Voyager and you're in New York, outside of New York, you just download the Voyager app and buy Voyager through the Voyager app. Super simple. If you're stuck in crappy New York, then you got to use Uniswap because you can't get Binance and you can't get Voyager and they just screw you over. So how do I do that? Well, I, I did this already, but let me do it again. So if I do Ethereum to, let me select a token. If I look at Voyager, Voyager is not there. That's VGX, right? So what I want to do is I want to go to manage I want to go to Coin Gecko List. I want to turn that on. And let me go back. And let me look for Voyager again. VGX. And here is Voyager right there. So I can now I can use it. So if I'm using look, look using Uniswap, I can find Voyager. Now here's the next part. What about Theta? Well, Theta is a little bit more different. So if you want to look to find out how Theta, you can actually buy Theta, go to danteacherscript.com. 100% free website. And then when you get logged in, all you gotta do is go down to how do I? You're gonna click on how do I? And there is a video which tells you exactly how to buy Theta by using a certain exchange called Simple Swap. And I got all the links right there for you. So that is it. That is it for today. So hopefully it answers the question about what you would do or what I would do. Again, not financial advice, but this is what I would do as far as like if someone screwed me out of the money. Next, I have to do a video about uh, SIM swaps and how to avoid all that stuff using Proton Gmail or Proton Gmail, Proton email. And I want to do a video uh, of what we just talked about uh, quickly, which was all these different small businesses uh, doing requests for information for uh, Bitcoin, which I, th I found fascinating because if you all only listen to the, the channel, uh, I've always talked about businesses are coming, especially if you do not just treasuries, but if you do um, uh, allocating Bitcoin for uh, retirement funds and just putting like one to 2% and those types of things. And if you do that globally, I mean, where would Bitcoin be? Well, we're looking at, you know, trillions and trillions of market cap. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks so much. If you like these types of videos, my is gonna pop up on your left and right. And uh, that is all for today. So I will see you on the next one, whenever that is. Bye.